This is Mark Brown at the Mark Brown channel, and now I'm making this VR for uh, Mr. Holster. Him and Jack are wanting to know what their favorite Christmas was. I remember, I, I can't remember, I was maybe 8 or 10 years old somewhere now, and I got a Red Rider BB gun. My cousins all had BB guns, and they were all bragging. All my cousins are a lot older than I am. But man, I just, I saw the uh, Christmas story, and that's all I talked about. I love that movie. I've got them DVD and VHS both, even though you can't hardly get a VCR anymore. But, uh, love that movie. And that's what I wanted. I waited and waited and prayed. Christmas morning I woke up I didn't find it on the train. We had opened everything and I was getting down the dumps already. And my dad said you know you need to go in there and check your stocking in the bedroom. We put your stockings in the bedroom after you know in the morning that way my little sister and my little brother went in mine and I wasn't in theirs and all that stuff was kept separate. I went in and I was still gloom, you know, gloom and doom. And I, I looked at Dad and I said, Dad, Santa Claus didn't bring me my uh, Red Rider BB gun. Is he done? He said, you sure about that? I said, it wasn't under the tree, Dad. He took me out. It wasn't under the tree. That was on the other side of the room, sitting by the door model TV. Yeah, I thought I'd won the lottery. And guess what? I got BBs to go with it. I didn't shoot my eye out. But buddy, I had my slippers on, and I went outside. I had to see if it shot. Dad took me out, and we shot. That thing had a lot of power. But the one that really surprised me was one that Dad had from when he was a kid. He'd give it to me also. And the one he had as a kid, not a real young kid, but he was, you know, he shot a lot harder, harder than mine. I could, uh, mount the yard, we had these old, uh, birdhouse and stuff, wasn't supposed to shoot it. Mine, when I'd shot and I'd hit the birdhouse, I would have enough of a pain on well, I got to go out and have the other one. And I was trusted because I was always a good kid. I was trusted to go out and shoot. I shot that birdhouse and I stuck a BB into the birdhouse. My mom come unhinged. That was the best Christmas I ever had. I got two BB guns. And both were Red Riders. I had both of them for years, and I gave them to my little brother one year, because that's all he could talk about. I got a new Pump Master 760, and I gave them to him, and I got my 410, and I got my 760. The 760, I could go out and you know, shoot BBs and nails, but when I got my 410, I got to go out to Grandma and Grandpa's and shit. I loved it. But, uh, I think that was the best year I ever had. And, uh, well, there was another year, but it wasn't because it was Christmas. It was because of all the snow. And that was in, uh, about 78. That was a blizzard of 78. We had over four foot of snow where it drifted 
It was almost on my dad's head, and he's like six one. And uh, we dug. My dad had to go through the window, out the window with the shovel, shovel away from the front door and all, so he could get out. And uh, after that, us kids come out, and we had tunnels all through the snow. We was out there playing. Me and my little sister. And she wasn't very old. I was born in 72. She was born in 75. My little brother was born in 78. And he wasn't born yet. But we had the best time that year also. But that was after Christmas. But those were... Those are probably the two most precious times I ever had in my life. I loved them days. And those are my favorite Christmases. And then my my girls, both of them, both of their first Christmases. I I love to watch the face of them. I love that smile and that surprise, like, oh no. I got you know. Just the way kids are. I know I had it. And it's good to have. It'll make you young. And uh, that was the end of my video. But uh, this is my VR video response. And I want to make it also a support video. If you see this and you watch the end, go check out Mr. Holsters channel. He's a real good guy. He's got some uh, hard trivia sometimes. And I thank God Mom and Dad they helped me a lot on it. And what they don't help I have to sit down and cram. There's been a few of them I ain't made. But uh, you need to go and check him out. He's a real good guy. I thank you and y'all you have a good day and we'll see you later.